If you create a lot of pages on your WordPress website and you want to save time when creating these pages, you really need to check out custom page templates. They'll allow you to create beautiful and amazing page designs within seconds, allowing you to save time when building new pages on your WordPress website. In this video, I'll show you three different ways on how you can create custom page templates on your WordPress website. Let's go. Let's start with method number one, and that's by using the Starter Templates plugin. Whether you're using Elementor or Block Editor on your WordPress website, Starter Templates can provide you with some amazing template designs that you can use. First, if you don't have Starter Templates already, you can go ahead and install it from your Plugins menu on your WordPress dashboard. All you have to do is search for Starter Templates and then install and activate the plugin. As you can see here, I've already installed it ahead of time so we can proceed on to the next step. So now we're going to go ahead and create our page template. So first, let's go into Pages on the left-hand side and press Add New. And over here is where we're going to create our new page. On the right-hand side, you'll see a tab that says Template. And just below that, we can drop this down. And you have a few different options we want to work with. And the one we want to choose is Elementor Canvas. And what that will do is give us a blank page where we can begin designing our template. Once that's selected, we can move on to the top right here where it says Edit with Elementor. Let's go ahead and click that button. And here we are within Elementor. And as you might notice here, because we have the Starter Templates plugin installed, we have the Starter Templates logo right here. So if I click on that, and this right here is a library of Starter Templates. As you can see here, you have a whole lot of different templates you can choose from. And what we can do next is once we've selected a template that we want to use, let's go ahead and click this one here. It will show you all the different pages available with that starter template. For example, if I show you a different one right here, you can see this opens up all the pages available with that template. I actually quite like the coffee house one we saw earlier. Let's go ahead with that one. We have the home page, menu, contact, and about us page. You can select any one of these and load it up onto Elementor right now. Let's go with the about us page right here. See, this is what it looks like. It's beautifully designed and fully functional, all ready to be used on your website. Let's go ahead and press Import Template up here. As you can see, it's importing the template now onto your Elementor page. And there we go, that whole page has now been loaded up for us in just a single click. As you can see here, we have all the elements, all the widgets, content, text, everything we saw on that page all loaded up inside Elementor right now. And that has actually been imported from the existing theme. So the colors and font styles from the existing theme have been applied onto this template we see here. But in my opinion, the page looks really good. And once you're happy with the page, all we have to do is come down here where it says publish, the button we're used to pressing. Right beside it, you might notice this arrow right here, save options. When we click on that, we have two different options, save draft or save as template. Let's click on save as template. And then it will ask you a name for this template. Let's go ahead and type in template test just like that, and we can press save right here. And if you haven't logged on to Elementor with your website before, it will actually prompt you to log into your Elementor account via their website. Once that's all done, it will return you back onto your Elementor website, the page you see right here, and you should see something like this. So under my templates, you will now see that template we just saved, and what you can do now is actually insert it onto your Elementor page. Let me show you. See, apply the settings on the page too. We can press apply, and that will insert that page template we created just below everything we already had on the page. So if I scroll down, just below everything, see? The page starts over once again, meaning that it has been inserted just below the existing content on the page. So the template's working as it should. And if you want to add it to any other Elementor page, all you have to do is down here, you might see this folder right here. Click on that. And if you go into My Templates up here, the new template you created will be here, ready for you to insert onto your page. And that's the first method on how you can create a custom page template on your WordPress website. And now onto the second method to add a custom page template onto your WordPress website. And this is by using Elementor's templates. So again, let's go into Pages and add a new page. But this time, let's go straight into Edit with Elementor at the top. And here we are on a new page. The first thing we're going to do is on the right-hand side where it says Template, we're going to change this from a default template into an Elementor canvas. And what that will do is give us a blank page where we can begin designing our template. And after that, let's go into Edit with Elementor once again. As you can see, we've got a blank page right here. And instead of going into Starter Templates like in method number one, we're now going to go into this icon right here that says Add Template. Let's click on that. Similar to Starter Templates, Elementor has their own library of templates as well. As you can see here, they've got quite a lot of designs you can choose from, but most of them right here are all part of Elementor Pro. So you will have to get Elementor Pro to access these. But at the top, you do have a selection of some templates that you can use for free. Alternatively, you also have the option to use blocks. 
So if you don't want to load up a full Elementor page, you can instead go ahead and load one of these amazing blocks. And as you can see, the page is quite long. You can go ahead and look for the exact type of content that you want on your WordPress website. For this example, let's go back into pages and we're going to load up a full page. So let's go ahead with this restaurant one we see right here. We can hover over it and press insert. And then it will ask us to apply the settings of this page as well, which means it will override any existing content on our page, any existing settings. So we're going to press apply right here. And there we go. We have the beautiful Elementor template page all loaded up for us. And it's a really beautiful restaurant theme one. And it looks really good in my opinion. And once you're happy with your custom page template, all you have to do is go down here beside the publish button, click on the arrow and press save as template. And then you can give your template a name right here just like that, and we can press save. And there we go, we can see our saved template right here. It's all ready for you, and you can go ahead and insert it onto any page that you'd like to. It's as simple as that. And now moving on to method number three. This is for those of you using WordPress's block editor. Again, here I am in my WordPress dashboard. All I'm gonna do is go onto pages on the left-hand side and press add new. Gutenberg has a range of amazing blocks that you can use to create your custom pages. It's as simple as finding and adding the blocks that you want and building your web page. And here I am in my blank new page. And the first thing we have to do is create the design for a custom page template. You can do that by bringing in any blocks that you'd like and adding any elements onto this page. To do that, all you have to do is press this plus icon right here to begin adding blocks. On the left right here, you'll see a whole range of different blocks you can use to create a beautiful web page using block editor. As you can see, there's a whole range of blocks you can use. And if you want even more block options with some amazing designs, you can always check out Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. It's a free plugin that adds even more blocks into your block editor. As you can see, we have Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, Ultimate Add-on Blocks. All these right here are all added as part of the plugin. And it gives you even more options when designing a beautiful web page with the block editor. Alternatively, if you have the Starter Templates plugin installed, you also have the option to add one of the Starter Template pages onto your block editor. Alternatively, if you have the Starter Templates plugin installed, you can always load up one of the Starter Template pages onto block editor itself. And I've actually gone ahead and installed Starter Templates ahead of time. And once it's installed within block editor, you'll see this button right here at the top that says Starter Templates. If I click on that, it will open up Starter Templates library of beautiful and professionally designed website templates that you can load up in just a single click. And once you find a template that has a design you like, you can go ahead and click on that like this. It will show you all the pages available with that template. From here, you can select the page that you'd like to load onto your block editor. For example, let's go with this courses one right here, all courses. And down at the bottom, you can see import all courses template. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's all right. We can go ahead and press skip and import the template. And there we go. Starter templates has loaded up that entire page that we saw earlier onto block editor right now. And that only took us a few seconds, and that's a really easy and quick way to load up a design or page template on Block Editor. And I think in terms of design, the page looks good to go. If you're happy with the page you're creating for your custom page template, we can now proceed to make that page reusable so you can use it on any other page you'd like to. To do that, we can select all the elements on the page that we'd like to use in our reusable block. I'm just going to hold Shift and select all the blocks we want to use. And there we go. As you can see, I've selected all the different blocks that we imported as part of Starter Templates. And over here on the menu, you can see three dots right here with options. And the one we want to use is add to reusable blocks right here. If we click on that, it will ask us to name our reusable block. I'm just going to call it block editor template like that. And we're going to press save. There we go. It's created our block editor template block right here. And it's become a reusable block. And now that we've created a reusable block to use it, we have to go into add block right here and we can search for reusable. And as you can see here, we have block editor template. And here's one I created earlier as well. We can go ahead and just click on that or drag it onto our page. And there you go. We have our reusable block just here inserted at a click of a button and it's good to go. And that's how you can create a custom page template using block editor. If you got stuck or had any questions about the methods mentioned in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And now that you know how to create a custom page template on your WordPress website, you might also want to learn how to create a custom taxonomy as well. If you're interested, you can watch our video tutorial right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.